Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at getting started with Cursor AI IDE. So Cursor AI is a, is a cutting edge code editor designed to enhance productivity through AI powered features like intelligent code completion, interactive code assistance, and natural language, natural language programming. Okay, so it's actually built on VS Code, making it familiar yet really powerful. Yeah, so obviously to get started, if you haven't downloaded and installed it, visit the, the, the Cursor website to download the application for your operating system. Install the application following um, the standard procedures. Okay, so obviously it's a, there's a paid version and obviously you can get, I think, two weeks trial. So you can, you can get the trial to get yourself started, okay? But if that's not the case, let's get straight into it. So as you can see on the screen, I've actually opened it. Yeah. So once you open it, this is what you get. So let me let me expand it here. So when you open it for the first time, this is what you get. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to file and uh, add our open open folder. Okay. So I'm just going to add a new folder here. So you can do the same thing here. So I'm just going to call it uh, YT Web. Yeah, just, just something non fanciful. Okay. So let's select it and open the, the folder. So he, this is what we get. So inside here, let's go ahead and add a new file and let's call it index.html. Okay. So let's go ahead and add. Okay, let's call it index.html. Okay. So this is what we get. Let's go ahead and add one more. Let's call this one styles.css. And let's add one more and call it index.js. Okay. So this is the three uh, this is the three files that we're going to use okay so once you open it as you can see on the right side here there is this chart here this is where we're going to um, type our, our command prompt okay so we have index.html index.js and styles.css yeah so obviously if you know web design then you should know what what is going on here so let's let's type something here let's let's type in create A blog using so we can select the um, files by typing the, the app and then files and folder. So let's select JS uh, index.js. So let's go ahead and select index.html. Let's go ahead. And also select house.css. Um, so this is the command that we've got. So using index.js, index.html, and styles.css, we're going to create a block. Okay. So here, obviously, you can select what um, what agents you want to use. So we're using the, the GPT agent. You can select the ask or manual, and then you can select what you want to use, like um. Gemini, um, chat GPT, and whatnot, yeah? So let's leave it as it is here for now, and then click Send. So as you can see here now, we've got our code, our coding being done for us, okay? So let's wait a while, and let's see what, so right now it's actually writing the, the index, index dot JS. So let's have let's wait and see what actually comes up. So as we can see here now, 
we have the code added so let's have a look at it here so here as you can see it's actually asking you to accept the file you can reject it or you can review it and add some functionalities to it yourself yeah but for this video let's go ahead and accept it so once we accept it this is where we go so this is all our java javascript code written for us okay and let's have a look at our index as well so as you can see our index.html has also been added for us so if you look at it here we've got the, the css link and whatnot added for us as well and this is our css so let's go ahead and accept it as well so as we can see here now without actually doing anything here we've got a very simple block created for us using our um, cursor, um, our cursor AI. Okay. So the next bit is clear. Let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So let's click on the run and start debugging. You can also press the F5 to achieve the same thing. Here we can let's select our browser. So let's um, let's use a uh, Google Chrome for this. Okay, so before we continue to run it, so as you can see here now, we have uh, this uh, launch.json created for us, added to the account. So let's let's go inside the folder. So let's go inside the folder and let's remove this VS Code thing here. Let's delete this. Okay, so let's run without debugging and see what actually happens. So I, I keep getting this um this launch this launch folder being created for us. For some reason it's not running. So let's let me see. Okay, let's let me run it again. Yeah, so as you can see here now, this is our a blog. Yeah. So as you can see, it's actually created something very simple for us. But we can also go ahead and add more functionalities to it. Yeah. But that this will be for another video. Okay. So as you can see here now, this is how we're able to create a blog, a very simple blog in no time using our AI yeah so you can you can go ahead and play with it type in whatever yeah just to just to i mean just to enhance what we've got right here okay so not to complicate you too much i'll leave this video for here for now yeah and i hope you i hope you've got everything and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are. Peace.